Okay, stop saying Let's go. Edit. He's Blake. <laughs> He's Blake. I'm Ronnie, and we're back. And today, Blake, you had an excellent tweet that I thought we immediately have to get a video out on this before somebody steals it. Yeah. Tell us the tweet. Uh, I tweeted, let's see. Okay. I said the kiss in the classroom in front of the kids. Uh, Edit. <laughs> Edit. And that's true. I did tweet that this morning. No, I, uh, I, I, I did. I watched Halloween 1 and Halloween 2 today for my Labor Day weekend. And Halloween 2, I noticed like a big storyline throughout. When when Bud was trying to get with every nurse there was no I got to watch the babies I got to watch I got to go to the ward and watch you know the the kid look after the babies or whatever like multiple nurses use that line and then at the end Loomis blows up the hospital so <laughs> I just tweeted how many babies did Loomis kill <laughs> I mean I think it's a great question it's a great breakdown of Halloween too. Because the only defensible argument that's going to be made when we put this video out is, hey, idiots, the babies were on floor number two or floor three. It don't matter. He blew half the hospital up. Yeah. And if and I, got, I got news for you. If they're on floor two and floor one is blown up, it's coming down. They're all dying of smoke inhalation. So, Not to mention they hadn't been fed or changed in, you know, five hours. In hours. Get a mic. And plug it into what? <laughs> the phone. Yeah, don't worry you're about that. You're absolutely right. All the babies are dead. Uh, smoke. Uh, not being taken care of. Not being fed. We don't know how old these babies are. But they have to be they fed. They're in the hospital. They're newborns. We have to be. Fe- they have to be fed every few hours. So all the babies are dead. So the deputy should have factored that in at the end. He goes, "How many dead? Uh, Ten. What's the count? Ten. So far. Is he talking about? Are we, are we including the babies that died of smoke uh, inhalation? It's just about babies. <laughs> it's just babies. Ten babies dead and eight scumbags that was employed by the hospital. Hey, have you seen the alternate ending? No. Okay, so I'll share it on my on my Twitter, but the alternate ending I watched on YouTube today where when they load Lori and I mean, you know what I'm talking about. They load Lori in the ambulance. And then someone in a blanket sits up and you get that final jump scare thinking it's Michael somehow, which wouldn't make sense. And it's Jimmy. And she's like, we made it. Why did they have? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. That's the TV ending. The TV edit. They load two people up in the same wagon. (laughs) Why did they? Why did they have Jimmy covered up with a a sheet? Did they just assume he's dead? He's dead. Same reason they zipped up. uh, Zipped up the paramedic in H two O. So here's the here's the bigger question: Did they check him? They check his vitals to see that he was dead. Obviously not just assume because he slipped down in the blood and was laying there that he was just dead. So they load him up and put him in the, uh, in, in the ambulance or yeah, did, did he really die? And that was him coming back out of his six hour without oxygen to the brain coma. 
I like to think that uh, College Boy's dead. He's dead. I didn't realize just how drunk that doctor was when he came back to work. He is hammered, and he's immediately calling for them to give her shots of something. He like he's been there two seconds. He's like, give her a shot of this, give her a shot of that. Hey, when's the last time you had a tetanus shot? <laughs> and I don't just pumping her full of stuff. He has no idea. Has answered no questions. Asked no questions. There's so much. Maybe maybe Haddon feels better off that Michael wiped out the entire nighttime staff because uh, more people were getting harmed than any good was being done to them. There's a reason there were. Look, nobody even asked the question: Were there people in the rooms, or were or, or is Haddonfield Memorial just the least populated hospital in the history of the world? Because there's usually a few deadbeats in there that try to you know, go in there and claim to have the flu or whatever, just so they can get free uh, care and get yeah. a free meal. But anyway, just want to hop on really quickly to talk about that. You guys tell us in the comments, were all the babies in the hospital killed due to Loomis blowing up Michael Myers? Um, it puts a different spin on Halloween four as well, because if Loomis, I know at the end of Halloween two, Loomis and Michael were both sp supposed to be dead. But when they bring back, bring them both back in Halloween four, now they should have covered Loomis's trial for leading to, that's like John Spartan because he led to the death of all those people in the hospital. He should have been put in the cryo in the cryo prison like John Spartan. Well, and when they answer down below, it's not a question of did the babies die? It's how many. It's true. Every baby dead. in the hospital's dead because that, that fire was big enough to fill every floor above it with smoke. Not to mention what Blake said about the floor caving in. So, so they're, there's they're nobody dead. alive Loomis, in the hospital at the end of the movie, Ronnie. Nobody's alive in the hospital. Loomis killed as many people as Michael Myers between Halloween one and Halloween two, not to mention Loomis is the reason that Ben Tramer got hit up it run over. He's chasing after him with a gun. Run, go on, run. Loomis, get back. Get back, you pig, run. Loomis, stop. Get out of it. Loomis, stop. Stop. Shoot. Stop. Go. Tramer plus the does 15 part baby. Of you wish that that would have played out and he shot Ben Tramer. Like, does part of you wish that would have played out? See, that's another good question because what happens with between the dynamic between Brackett and Loomis? If Loomis shoots Ben Tramer thinking it's Michael, now Brackett has to arrest him when he takes the mask off and sees it's not Michael Myers. And now there's nobody going after Michael Myers for the rest of Halloween too. Like Loomis gets arrested in the first five minutes of, of Halloween two because he shoots Ben Tramer mm -hmm. and, and Michael's just free to kill. I mean, it's, I don't know. It's fun to think about. Like, I like you know, talking about remaking movies. Like, I mean, you pick up from Halloween one right there. I don't know. No, nah, you can't do that. I like Nick push, uh, his response on Twitter was it's okay that the babies died because Loomis was fixated on getting to Michael. I mean, are Nick you surprised? Push, well, no, no, not a fan of babies unless he's dating them. So leave us in the comments down below. What do you I, think? I will, I will give that weirdo credit for one thing though. He said something today, or I'm sorry. He said something on his last video that, if you could change one thing about Halloween 1978, he didn't give the lame answer of nothing. It's perfect. He said he would change Judith to be in Michael's babysitter and not his sister. That's that's pretty awesome. Because then there's no family tie in at all. I actually do like that. That is really good. And it, it plus it goes with the whole story of John Carpenter wanting to name it the babysitter murders. Yeah, killed his babysitter when he was six years old, comes back after he breaks out 15 years later, wanting to kill more babysitters. And that would also explain why he's following Lori because she looks like a babysitter to the young uh to young Tommy. So let's let's give the creep. Hey creep. <laughs> good idea. 
Yeah, y'all head over to Nick Push's hard channel and give him subscriptions to give him some kind of meaning to his life. I know he bases his value <laughs> on uh, how many subscribers he's got. Anyway, for the third time, hit us in the comments. What do you what do you think about uh, what do you think about Blake's theory that Doctor Loomis killed every single baby in Haddonfield Memorial Hospital, thus making him a bigger murderer on Halloween night than Michael Myers? <laughs> 